Hey guys, what's up? Um, I don't know if you remember me, it's been a while, and as you can see, I do not have Josh here with me, it's just me today. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll take this opportunity, in addition to doing my July wrap-up video, to just kind of give you a few updates of what's been going on. So basically, um, it's summer, right? So <laughs> we've been busy doing summery stuff. Um, July ended up being a big time for people, family, friends, and so on to visit us or us to visit them. So we've been in and out. Josh and I, our schedules have been kind of not the same. So, and usually we walk, we do our stuff on the weekends. So, um, and weekends have been all different sort of things, activities lately, so, um, yeah, so that's been fun, but I had to take a little break from booktube, and we had to stop filming for a little while, so that's why we didn't post very much, or really at all, in July. We did have a few exciting things happen while we were away from booktube. First of all, I got a smartphone, which I am very excited about. I've never had a smartphone. This is my very first one, so this is exciting. This is very exciting. Josh got his braces off, which he tweeted on our Twitter page, so that is also very exciting. I also went to Barnes & Noble early, early in the morning to get Go Set a Watchman by Harper Lee, which I did a short vlog video on, so I guess I'm not so behind, at least. So it's just an example of a few things that we were up to while we were not booktubing. I also have a few updates to update you on for this channel. Um, this channel will actually be undergoing some changes this fall. Uh, my younger brother, Josh, is going to high school this fall, which is very exciting. Um, but he will be going away to high school. He will actually be in a dorm, and he will be a few hours away from where we are now. So yeah, he will not be around all the time, and I mean, he will probably be coming back on weekends, but some weekends he'll have activities and so on, um, and maybe he'll be busy with homework and so on. So yeah, we don't know how many videos we will be doing with him, so we want to try to get an average of one or two videos per month with him, um, otherwise we don't want to like overburden him too much while he's trying to study, start out and um, study and so on. So basically this fall, it's going to be me on this channel, and <laughs> so yeah, that'll be kind of exciting and slightly nerve-wracking. Josh usually does most of the editing of our videos, so I'm going to really miss that because I really am not a fan of editing, unfortunately. <laughs> These videos and stuff, I just, yeah, not a fan. I love making videos, I just don't like editing them very much, so that's going to be kind of sad. So now finally, the thing that we actually came here to film, the wrap-up for July. I will be doing this by myself today, because like I said, Josh is not able to make this video, unfortunately, but that's okay. So I will do it by myself. So I kind of got a pathetic amount of reading done this month, but you know what? I am actually completely okay with that, because I had a fabulous month, a lot of good things happened. Um, and my reading was fantastic, even though I only maybe read, I, uh, I think I read a total of four books. Yeah, four books. I thought I read five, but then I was checking my Goodreads, and I only actually read four <laughs> this month, but I may count one of them as five, because technically, technically, I read it in July. So the first book that I read this month was Gilgamesh, and this is translation is by Hubert Mason, which is an awesome translation if you are ever ever <laughs> want to read Gilgamesh or are interested in reading it, um, yeah, I would definitely recommend this translation. So I gave this one five out of five stars. The next couple of books that I read over the last month were actually a couple of audiobooks I had started before I switched jobs, so I just kind of listened to them on my breaks with this last job just to kind of finish them up because they were both books that I wanted to finish. Um, and not leave hanging. The first one was Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. I give that one four stars out of five stars. Um, it was pretty good. Um, I think it was a little bit choppy because I just like because I had and I think it was my fault because I had started it and then it had been like a week or two before I had gotten back to it. But I did enjoy it. Um, I was a little bit. It was a little bit hard to keep up with it, but I think it was just my fault. It was a pretty easy quick read. It's actually been a book that's been on my bucket list for summer reads for a long time, so I was really happy to get through that. But yeah, I, overall I enjoyed that. 
The second audiobook was another Tarzan book. It was The Son of Tar Tarzan by Edgar Rice Burroughs. Um, and this will be my last Tarzan book I will read because they are just getting more and more ridiculous, which is hilarious. But it's also just... I'm just kind of getting tired of it. Um, I can't believe I went even this far. I was just planning to read the first book and that was it. So, um, yeah, I think I gave that one... Ooh, what did I give that one? So I was kind of generous and gave that one three stars out of five stars because, I mean, it wasn't horrible, but it, it wasn't, like, the greatest book either. So, um, actually, kind of, now that I think about it, I think it, maybe I would give it two stars, but oh well. Um, so yeah, I gave it three stars out of five stars and yeah, um, no more Tarzan for me. That is the end. The last two books that I read were, well, actually technically last book that I read um, was To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Um, this was a reread for me. I've read it at least a couple of times, I think, um, first time being in high school. Um, super good, the um, third or whatever time around this is for me. Um, I really enjoyed it, definitely more than I did when I was younger, so I was really glad, and it was just really fun to read it with the whole, like, gold set of Watchmen coming out and so on. So, yes, I give this one five stars out of five stars. The last book that I read was Ghost Set of Watchmen, of course, by Harper Lee, the book that I woke up the crack of dawn to get, and there was only, like, seven people in line for it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this book. I actually really liked this book. I gave this one four out of five stars. Um, a lot of people are actually not really enjoying it, and I think it's because a lot of people are going into it thinking it's going to be this lovely completed novel that she wrote, and it is not a complete novel, folks. It is not a complete novel. It is a complete, I mean, it ends, it begins, it has a middle, it has an end, but it's definitely rough. So, and there's some things in there that maybe just weren't as good. So, um, but for what it's worth, I really enjoyed it. I want to do a video on um, To Kill a Mockingbird and Go Set a Watchman at some point, so uh, watch for that. If you look on my Goodreads, I actually finished this August 6th. Yeah. I actually didn't finish this one in July, so technically it should be in my August wrap-up video, but I did start it and read a lot of it in July, and um, yeah, I had to finish it the next week because um, I had a really good friend of mine come over that weekend so I didn't do a lot of reading but we did do a lot of fun stuff so yeah so yes I'm including this one because it goes with To Kill a Mockingbird too so I still think of it as one of my July reads so there you have it hopefully I won't forget when I do my August wrap up and add this book but if I do it's because I forgot that um, I kind of included it with this so hopefully I won't forget but also I do have one bonus book that I wanted to include in this video before I finish it up, and that would be Hamlet by William Shakespeare. I actually went to go see that in a local community theater in the round type thing that goes on here in our area every year. Um, it was just fantastic. I've never actually seen or read Hamlet, so I kind of include that as a bonus, like, literary thing, even though I technically did not read the play. I watched it, but that's what they were meant to. So I almost actually included it on Goodreads, but then I thought it's kind of cheating because I didn't actually read it in book form. So yeah, so I just want to throw that out there. So that was another fun thing I did in the month of July. So that's all I have for this July wrap up today. Um, yeah, there are a few things I want to talk about, but I'm going to save those for our TBR video for August because there's a lot of exciting things that are coming up or things that I'm really excited for. And we will talk a little bit more about Josh and stuff. He will actually be in this video with me because we think this will be the last video we'll probably do together for a while. So um, we will talk about that in that video. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you soon hopefully with that video. Bye! I also wanted to share this. It's an awesome one of those like soy candle things that are really popular that are like the um like reader like book scented things. They're supposed to remind you of like books and stuff. And this one's actually a Doctor Who themed one. It's wibbly wobbly tiny whiny is the scent. I don't know if you can see that. Unfortunately it's kind of dark in here. But yeah, so that's this candle and it smells really good. My sister and I got it over this last couple weekends ago. Yeah. We've been burning it as you can see like almost every night. So yeah, kind of fun.